Hello there and in today's video uh, here from the Stamping with Val craft room I'd like to share with you this card that I made. I'm using the Cool Treats stamp set and Frozen Treats framelits from Stamping Up. Both of these are available in the spring summer catalogue and are moving into the brand new annual catalogue in a few weeks. And this card is made using the inlaid die cutting technique. Okay, and by that I mean that the um, ice creams or lollies are cut out of this white card and then inlaid, infilled with ice creams and lollies cut in a different colour card. So this is actually completely flat. These aren't kind of like raised up on dimensionals, which would be another way of making this card. But I wanted to have a go with this inlaid die cutting technique and share it with you. For this card, I've used the brand new Berry Burst um, in colour. I've also used the Lemon Lime Twist, which is another new in colour to stamping up. And then I've coordinated both of those with Pumpkin Pie, which I kind of just felt it reminded me all of ice lollies, that kind of lemon, lemon and lime lolly. You've got an orange lolly and then you've got like your black currant or, or what have you. So and it's really bright and really cheerful and really fun. And so I'm looking forward to showing with you today how I made this card. The first thing I'm going to start with is a card base from Berry Burst cardstock. This is a piece of A4. This is um, European A4. And I've cut it in half along the long side. So that way. And then scored through the middle so that I have a top fold landscape card. Um, American card is slightly deeper than mine but not quite as wide so you might find that you can't quite get seven lollies onto yours you might have to trim yours down and, and rejig it for five or six but the technique will work exactly the same to go with that I have a piece of thick whisper white A4 I have cut this down to the same width as my card base so for me that's 14.85 centimeters and then nine centimetres deep there. So I've just got this little border underneath and I'm going to put my sentiment on there. Finally, I have another piece of cardstock. This is Whisper White again, but this is just the ordinary one. So it's a little bit thinner and I'm going to be using this behind this one so that I've got something to adhere my ice lollies to. So we don't need that one for the moment. I'm going to put it to one side. The one we need predominantly straight away is this piece. So I'll put these to one side and we're also going to need the big shot. So here's my big shot and my piece of card. I'm going to lay this on here. Now you do just have to have a little bit of patience doing this. Obviously we've got to cut a whole load of lollies along the bottom of the piece of card. I'm going to pop the short fat one in the middle. I'm going to work out where I want it to go and I may even grab a ruler. For this particular card, I just want to make sure that I've got it in the middle. Yeah, I have actually, so I'm pretty pleased with that. They actually end up overlapping, they're so close together. So at this moment in time, I'm only going to cut the one. Once we've built up a little bit, we'll be able to cut more than one at once. So I'll just cut one for now. I'm going to remove that from there and you can see where my lolly is cut. If it comes out, it doesn't matter, but if it stays there, it doesn't matter either. Next, I'm going to pop on this one. But as you can see, I'm going to have fun with my magnetic platform as well. I need the metal edge of this one to almost be touching the cut edge of the one next door. Just because of how close I need to have them to fit them onto the piece of card. I could just put five or six on and then I wouldn't have to put them quite so close together. Right, next up, I'm going to go back to this one again. To putting it really close. But because this one's over here, I can now come and put this one over here. And I can cut two at once now. And that'll speed things up a bit. <clears throat> this 
just keep working your way across your piece of card. Just tweaking for my magnetic platform. This one's trying to go to a particular magnet, it would seem. That one seems okay though. That one came out, but like I said, it doesn't matter. And then last but not least, this one over here. <clears throat> so we're going to need this piece of cardstock. While you've got your big shot out, you're going to want to cut yourself a load of ice creams and lollies in the coordinating colours that you're going to use. I've already cut mine, so you don't have to sit and watch me do that. Okay, pop those out. You can save those for another project another time. And that's me finished with my cool, my frozen treats framelits. So like I say, I've already gone ahead and I've stamped myself an assortment of lollies and ice creams. I've stamped them and die cut them out as to how I want them. So let me just work out the order I'm going to put mine in. like that I think. So <clears throat> on my original card I wanted to raise this layer up with dimensionals so that it did pop off the bottom a little bit and that means I can't stick this directly to the base card I need to stick it to something else and that's where this piece of card came in and basically I'm going to stick this behind here and then put some glue in all the holes and infill with those. You can use Tombow or you can use um, tear, and tear, tear and Tape, um, which is what I'm going to use quickly. It either works, it really depends on the shape, I think, and the layout you're doing. If you've got a more random pattern, Tombow's probably better because I've got a very linear pattern and tear and tape is going to work fine. You just want to make sure that you don't stick it to your desk too hard. Like that. If you've got any bits going off the end, you can just fold those over in a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the tape backing. trimmed both my thumbnails <laughs> okay tuck those ends in so now I'm going to cover this because it's so tight this is only literally a smidgen smaller than the front panel because those ice creams and lollies go so close to the edges okay I'm not going to press on it that way otherwise I risk sticking it to my desk but the advantage to using the tear and tape is obviously I've now got tape in amongst all the holes and so I can just quite quickly now drop my ice creams and lollies into place. Well that doesn't fit there. <laughs> There we go. And now I have my inlaid panel of lollies. All I have to do now is flip this over and pop some dimensionals on the back. How many you use is entirely up to you. And then I'm going to bring my base card 
back in. I'm going to line the top edge of this up with the top of my base card. Stick it down. And then finally, I just have my sentiment stamp on the bottom. I've picked this one. I hope your day is as sweet as you are because it's just going to fit nicely in this gap. You might just, if you wanted one of the other sentiments, you could lose some of the white up here and make this a smaller panel and fit a bigger sentiment in at the bottom. That's entirely up to you. I'm going to stamp it in Berry Burst ink. I'm just going to pop it down here. I'm going to risk having done the rest of the card, but you might want to stamp first. And then you only trash the base card if you go wrong. There you go. And there you have it. There's my completed Cool Treats card using the inlaid die cutting technique. I hope you've enjoyed my video tutorial here from Stamping with Val today. If you have and you'd like to see more videos from me, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and that will get you an email every time I post a new video. I post a video around once or twice a week depending on what I've got on. You can also visit me at stampingwithval.com which is my blog where you can see um, still photos of all the projects that I make along with pinnable images, other tutorials and you can even sign up for my newsletter there. So I hope you'll stop by. Thanks for watching. Bye.